Hello, friends and followers. Well, I've been hacking around with the Central Electronics 100V transmitter here, and I have been trying to get the 340 volt supply to work. I was able to get 340 volt supply to work, but not the way I wanted to, and it looks like the supply that I wanted to build out of Pentar pool transformers is not going to have enough voltage. So at any rate, I was able to get about 572 volts B plus for the final tubes using the existing transformer and just putting a bridge across the center tap and one end of the secondary. So now I'm not blowing out my capacitors with 900 volts. That 572 volts should be about 600 volts under load, I would think, but I don't have that. So I'm not quite getting out what I want from the finals. But with that said, I can get out 100 watts. At any rate, so to make the 340 volt supply work, I have an interesting little combination here. Again, I have some bridge diodes on the floor here, which is probably a fire hazard, but they don't get hot. There's the Pentar pool transformer. That transformer will take in 24 volts and put out either 120 or 240. So I'm feeding that little transformer with this Variac and I'm feeding it about 34 volts and giving it 34 volts, I get about, well, I don't know, I get enough out of it that I can make 340 volts through that bridge rectifier there and feed the transmitter. So that's all, all the voltages in this thing are finally correct. But that solution with that transformer, I was going to use two of these. One of them to uh, take 123 volts down to 24 volts and then feed the other one and step it up to 240 volts. The problem is I need probably 280 volts or something to get 340 volts out from what I found experimentally so I don't think this is going to work and when I lower the voltage down to 27 volts which is about what I get out of the wall socket on these things um, I don't get 340 volts I get like 270 volts and the transmitter barely works so anyway so I've been trying to make this work with the voltages I have at hand and right now at least the B plus, the lower B plus voltage at 340 volts is correct. So with that said, I've been trying to make this thing work right and at least get the output power back. So in the last couple of videos, when I found the big B plus short underneath the, um, the, uh, Z, the Z, um, cover there or, or shield, I thought that I damaged the transmitter by trying to find the short. It, it turns out I didn't damage the transmitter. It still worked. The problem was that since I've raised the voltage to wall socket voltage and I'm not using the Variac, the Variac is not being used really to feed the transmitter. It's, it's being fed from the wall socket directly now. That raised the, uh, the um, bias voltage power supply up to minus 120 volts, actually about minus 126 volts, which is where it should be all the time. And mine was probably minus 90 volts. So I had I had hacked in some corrections for that so that the bias would work correct on the finals. So I had to undo those modifications today and put a 1K resistor back in there. Let me show you where the resistor is for the finals bias on this thing. So this is the high, IR, high RF power area. And down here, you'll see those two little blue resistors. That's, those are two 560 ohm resistors in parallel or in series, in series. And so right there, I'm trying to get the exact value. And so 560 in parallel, that's about what? 1.2 ohms roughly 1000 plus yeah 1.1 1 .1 plus 20 ohms so that's where that sits and i didn't have the 1k resistor i'm getting a low one resistor so 
I put another resistor in parallel with it here to try and get it perfect. And I can get about 100 watts out of this thing now, and the plate voltage is too low. But I'm still getting 100 watts out. So I'm thinking I don't really want to muck with the plate voltage a whole lot yet anymore. So maybe I'll leave this the way it is. But if I go to CW mode here and key the microphone, I'm getting about 100 watts out of it now on any meter. So is it 100 now roughly? About 100, I think. Yeah, pretty darn close. And I tried keying the transmitter down for like like four minutes. The finals didn't red plate. The finals used to red plate in this thing. They would go red with too much voltage. So this meter now is not accurate. Well, accuracy is relative. I can't really raise the CW power into the CW um, recommended band. So, well, here we go. CW is maxed. Power output's maxed. And if I key it now, I almost get the CW. You can see that CW is off to the right. So I would want to raise the plate voltage a little more so that I could raise that thing up to CW input. That'll probably put me over 100 watts output, which is fine, but I guess it doesn't matter. I, I don't. The, the finals on this thing don't go red plate right now, so maybe that's fine. And so AM's working pretty good now, and again. There's AM right there. And AM testing, AM testing. You can hear it on the receiver over there. AM testing, one, two, three. So that works pretty well. And you can lower and raise the AM on this thing, the uh, AM carrier. Take it down low, it sounds louder. Take it up and it sounds, it has more power, but sounds not as great. AM on lower carrier with more modulation. And then you can increase it, it'll be less modulation. But more power out, more of a carrier. AM now with a lot of power out, but no modulation roughly. Oh, and there's a scope, so little scope is working. Scope on AM test, one, two, three. That should be a trapezoid, as they say, so. Can we make it into a trapezoid? I wonder. Hello, AM test, one, two. Let's see, AM power down. Okay, there's trapezoid, taking the power down. AM power down. So, so that's close to being a trapezoid right there, and maybe that's a proper AM modulation okay this should be good am wow it, it sounds distorted so it should be good am give it a little more power a little more carrier okay how does this am look it looks about the same i'm going to keep going up until the trapezoid distorts into a square or something Okay, there's more power, and it's not quite a trapezoid, but there's the uh, AM, test one, two, three, four, five, test. And if the power goes down, how does it affect it? Makes it smaller. One, two, three, four, five, there's the AM. And I can take down the audio level here. I put some, some modifications in here to increase the audio level. In the uh, limiter, module okay there's less audio and that does sound better like that let's raise it a bit there's some better audio like that that sounds broadcast okay now for sideband um you want to balance this thing let's see go here to balance you twist this and look at the meter, and if it's pretty much at zero, it's balanced. I can't do it one hand, but you turn these until they're all at zero. So the sideband here should fire right up. Sideband test, sideband test. 
And there's the uh, sideband trapezoid right there. Sideband trapezoid test. One, two, three. Three, two, one, test. One, two, three. Three, two, one, test. Test. One, two, three, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. All right, so that's the uh, transmitter now as far as I've gotten with it. I still got to get the 340 volt power supply figured out. I'm, I'm, I'm feeding 340 volts in now with this hack power supply, but I can't use the very hack. I don't want to use it to give it 340 volts. I want to be online and that's it. I don't want to be messing around with very hack. So, yeah, I still got to find a uh, another transformer. I was going to use two of these pool transformers, one feeding the other, but I don't really know how I could raise the one to 37 volts and then feed the other one. Don't know how to do that. So I guess I gotta find another transformer, yet another transformer. So I should take note of the voltage coming out of there and try and find something that's close. All right, that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, have a great day.